Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. Tonight we're going to be watching episode 6, which is the season finale of Moon Knight. Alright, so I am once again up very, very early and the episode has just come out. So I'm really excited that I'm going to be on time watching this once again. Glad I got caught up last week. Um, very tired, but it's going to be worth it. Last week's episode, if you guys watched my reaction to that, you know that I <laughs> found it um, very thought-provoking and emotional, and I consider it to be not only the best episode of this series, but perhaps the best episode of any of the Marvel series yet that we've gotten um, from Disney. So I'm really curious about how they're going to wrap this whole thing up. Um, I'm still living with my belief that Steven is not gone and will return and I'm gonna hold on to that until the very end of the episode if I have to. I, I, I believe, I believe he will come back. So I really don't know what's gonna happen, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to find out. So let's get into this together. The season finale of Moon Knight. Here we go. I still can't get over them being like, we're dead, we're not crazy, yeah. Comets are coming. I'm sorry it had to be this way. Mark Spector. Stephen Grant. Whoever else might be in there. Hmm. Who wants to heal the world? Fanatics. Fanatics! Oh god. Oh. Oh shit. This is when they are on the ship, right? In the last episode, and we saw like so many souls coming at once. He's telling you to stop. What the hell is this? <sighs> He's dead. And I'm talking to you from dead people. So <laughs> Listen, Harold is too powerful for you to stop him alone. If Mark, if he can return to life. What do you mean? The truth life. Uh, Conchu can bring him back. I mean, he did it before, right? He is going to need Conchu. Break his Shabti. It's in the chamber of the gods. And you can be my avatar. Mark says wonderful things about you. No, no, no. Being the avatar for Tao wouldn't be that bad. She seems wholesome. I... <laughs> yeah, she seems wholesome to me. Did he have to go there to release her? Mm, shit. Oh yeah. She's creepy looking. <laughs> then we must spare the world the pain I will cause. I willingly submit. What lies ahead of you is your service to me. Yeah, I was gonna say, they're like actively just murdering people and stuff in service to her, so... Oh. I once relied on a servant whose skills balanced perfectly. In exchange, I was bound to storm... That's Alexander, his scales balanced perfectly? Disciples all over the world. Yeah, I doubt it. Balance perfectly awaiting your command. They are worthy. My god. Oh! oh. I mean, that was relatively easy. He's dead. He died fighting, no doubt. Fighting your war. And it's far from over. If Mark is truly gone, 
I am in need of an avatar. Will you? She's like, fuck no. Suck it, Kachu. Do your job. Bring Mark back. Don't trust you. That's right. Let's go, Layla. We'll work together without me enslaving myself. We must be back. What about Stephen? He's gone. Mark, the Duat has him. Please, enjoy your peace. No. No way, he's not doing it. He's not doing it! He's gonna go back, he's gonna get Steven, then he's gonna go and fight and stop Amit and Hera. Go back for in the sand forever? He's not doing it. No, I'm not good with that. <laughs> Wait! Think about this! <laughs> Right, because they had to go through the Osiris Gate. So he's got to, like, get Steven, and they got to get through there. Then Kanchu can re-moon re knight him. Oh, ben, we were so young. You saved me. It's right, because I know I wasn't alone. You were always there, alive, full of hope. I tried to protect that, and I failed. I could protect you. You are the only real superpower. Oh shit. I ever had. Oh, Steven. What the heck? What the hell's wrong with you? There's a whole little speech there. It's not it. It's not it. Oh, look, the gates are open. Oh, Honsu, for a god, you are low on faith. Mm -hmm. You never learn. is like a package deal now, so you are going to have to deal with me. And we did just save your life, so you're welcome for that. Oh my god. But I do, I do think that you should answer my question, though. Oh How my god. Work? You would negotiate now? There's so much at stake? <laughs> I would release you both. You have my word. Mm. Oh, I like the sound of that. Good. Glad we got that to all powerful place. From here. We need to imprison Armin in a mortal form. So Harold set up the statue. She'd be vulnerable. Okay. Harold. How do we do it? We need more other tires than we have. Right. Yes! Oh my god, she's getting bigger! Oh, this is creepy! those who have chosen evil. So do I. Only I don't give them the satisfaction of committing it. Be at my side. Of 
course that was gonna shake him up. Asshole. Chance, it is! Oh god. Oh shit. Whoever this third personality is, is. Shit. Leave neither of them alive. Uh. He's like, no? You have a choice. You are free. Mm -hmm. The choice is vengeance. We cannot take the chance that Amit finds a way out. She will kill again. I sound just like her. Mm -hmm. Now release us. Really? And what about the third personality that it now there's two goldfish? I can't believe you live in this freaking mess. <laughs> oh my god. What is it? I cannot Wait, what? This world. That's not the end. It's supposed to be 40 something minutes. Oh, wait. Is there an end credit scene? There is. Hang on, hang on. Okay. I beg your pardon. So instead of killing him, they locked him up in a mental institution as the way to contain Amit in his body. But who. Wait! That's him. Can't you? Can't you? <laughs> you oh can't. my god! Yeah. You the third personality. Mark Spector truly believed that after he. The died, third personality is still. I wanted his wife to be my avatar. Why would I ever need anybody else? And he has no idea how Oh! Why te toca perder? Oh my god! Wait. <gasps> Did you see the look on his face? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that end credit scene just upended everything! Oh my god, imagine if like, I didn't go looking for it. Imagine if you didn't see the end credit scene and you thought it just ended with him waking up in bed. What the fuck? Okay, alright. Well, so that was the season finale of Moon Knight and... Holy shit. You know, Harold continued to be right about one thing, which was that Kanchu, no matter what he promises, he always, like, has another plan in mind, a way to try to keep you in his grasp and get what he wants, and he's not straightforward with you or honest. I fucking knew! I knew! Going back all the way towards near the beginning of the season that there was at least a third personality in there they gave us plenty of hints starting from the time where there was first blackout and both mark and steven are like wait i didn't do this and there's dead bodies everywhere and then the second uh the second sarcophagus the like red crazy looking one that there was banging on when uh, after um they showed mark releasing steven from a sarcophagus in their kind of mental trap 
And then, of course, in this episode, we also saw another incident where Mark and Steven, even together and even with Layla's help, were losing to Harrow slash Amit. And then he blacked out suddenly and Mark wakes up again, having completely knocked out and defeated Harrow somehow. And also, all the other people around are dead. So you, you, you knew there had to be at least a third personality in there that Mark and Steven are not aware of existing. And one that like is not just really like good at fighting and killing but seems like pretty pretty vicious ruthless and i think that what we saw at the end there like jake turns around and smiles as he shoots harrow as he kills harrow Okay, there's no wonder, okay, no wonder that Kanchu was just so quick to be like, all right, okay, I'll release you, and not even, didn't even fight that much when Mark was listening to Layla and was like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill Harrow, I just want you to release us, you promised, and then he was, he didn't even fight that much, he was just like, all right. Bye. And just like, just, of course, because he knew, because he knew the deal that he made with Mark and Steven after, after they came back was to release the both of them. Ha didn't say to release everyone who's in this body, every personality or being that exists within the entity that was born as Mark Spector. Nope, it was just Mark and Steven. And since they didn't know Jake existed, Kanchu, like, had his little loophole built right in that he, all right, well, I'll release you two, but Jake here is still my avatar. So, all good. I'll just wait until you guys are back home and think everything's all wonderful and perfect, and then Jake can take back control of the body, and then he'll come and he'll kill Harrow for me, and there'll be no more Amit and no more problem, and he'll continue to be my avatar, and all is good. And I'm so curious, like, was he actually ever interested in Layla being his avatar? Because what he says at the end there to Harrow is basically that he he wasn't, that um, he felt like he had the perfect avatar all along, and seemingly that's not even Mark, that's, that's Jake, because Jake is the most vicious and best at killing, it seems. But then, of course, we did see him actively ask Layla to be his avatar, but at the same time, he was under the impression that Mark was dead, meaning that Jake and Steven wouldn't exist anymore either, presumably. I'm also... Uh, I'm really curious, also about what the implications for this are for the 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 death scene with the balancing like where was Jake in all of that was he there but like they just couldn't see him because they don't understand of his existence or like how does that all work work out and come together uh, so i have to assume that then that Kanchu the whole time when he was saying he wanted Layla to be his avatar and he was threatening Mark with it, he was just using it as one, a way to try and keep Mark in line and to keep Mark like doing what his bidding, because it's probably easier for him if Mark was accepting of being the avatar than if he only has the Jake personality that Mark doesn't know about. And then Two, I wonder if it was a convenient way for him to hide, even hide the existence of the Jake personality from Mark. Because we know that Mark, at some point, eventually, he knew about Steven. But yeah, he clearly doesn't know about Jake. And Kanchu 
clearly dead. So, I'm curious. Hmm. So that's kind of my assumption then, is that he never actually wanted Leyla to be his avatar except for the slight, brief moment where Mark was dead and he didn't think that he had any other options other than her there. Huh. Wow. I mean, it, in hindsight, it seems so obvious that this was going to happen. Like, people have said to me, ever since I was speculating that there was going to be at least another personality in there that we hadn't met yet, they're like, yeah, there, there is. Um, if they follow the character's history and backstory. But, I don't know, for some reason... <laughs> I definitely, I, I still didn't see this ending coming. I am, I'm also curious. So, okay, so Mark slash Steven, it seems, one, another interesting thing is that, then that I assume wherever we see this character in its next incarnation, whether it be a season two or in the films uh, going forward, um, we, we it seems like Mark and Steven are, are, much, much more integrated, which, you know, we saw in the way that they were just kind of passing back and forth the body, um, and the suit was switching in and out as they were fighting, and, and so they could draw off of each other's strengths and expertise at different moments. It was almost, almost like a tag team. And then you see that even when they're waking up, too, they're just basically, they're straight up talking to each other in the different voices and personalities, but there's no, like, struggle or one coming to the surface and one backing off weird moment. It's they're both, like, there together, it seemingly is, all the time, which is interesting. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out, but I also want to know, so we see them waking up there, and Obviously, they don't know how they got there. They don't know exactly what's going on. They're still chained to the bed. That obviously has something to do with the Jake situation. But where is Layla? So where is Layla? Is she still Ta uh avatar? Did she stick with it? Because she had said, this is temporary, but she seemed to be enjoying being her avatar when she was fighting and protecting people and was saying, yeah, I am an Egyptian superhero. And she's not there with Mark slash Steven when they wake up. So where is she? So that's another question that's kind of up in the air right now. And what's, where does the, I guess I'm also just curious about where the character goes forward from here because, so the overall like seeming goals of this season, obviously were to stop Harrow and Amit, which is done. And for Mark and Steven, it was to come to terms with each other and with the past and how they got to be the way they are and be able to sort of integrate in a more meaningful way. Um, yeah. Which they did without, I guess, without knowing about the third personality. I really don't know. So I guess like going forward it's going to be like with them not yet being aware and having to discover the jake personality and that they're still tied to conchu through jake and are they going to then choose and accept to uh also come back to being conchu's avatar because they can't like maybe stop the Jake personality from doing it, but if they agree to come back and they're all the Avatar together, then maybe they can stop the Jake personality from doing some really horrific things by taking on some of the work themselves, since they will be aware that this is the most vicious, bloodthirsty personality. I mean, someone who's smiling while he's murdering someone. I don't know. And what the role is going to be in the wider MCU is also a huge question that's just up in the air. Um, yeah. Hmm. So lots of things to think about, I guess. Hmm. Once again, I just want to point out that 
none of this at the end um, would have had to happen if the gods just took like two minutes to do a slight amount of research into what Hera was doing instead of just believing him and taking his word at face value and then he never would have actually succeeded but you know you needed to step it up gods and you you fucking failed and now all your avatars are dead as a consequence they got to die and Amit was briefly released into the world so hope you're all happy with <laughs> But yeah, I definitely have to say, I still feel like, of course, out of the whole season, that episode five was definitely the best and the most different by far. It was the most focused on the backstory of Mark and the creation of Steven and the dynamic of those personalities and their relationship with his own personal journey and mental health. And it was like a very... I guess emotional more intimate story while simultaneously being crazy with the <laughs> also being placed in this journey through the underworld so it also had a lot of the most mythology which was cool but um overall i really enjoyed the whole season i feel like it had the right amount of comedy um to make it lighter at some point um, as somebody that, you know, has studied anthropology, archaeology, and is very, very interested in, in that sort of thing, um, it did a fun, interesting job of playing around with Egyptian mythology and archaeology, and I, so I, I enjoyed that aspect of it, and I think the performances were excellent. Oscar Isaac obviously blew it away, but Ethan Hawke was also, like, everybody did a great job with that. So, yeah. I'm really curious to see how this character is going to develop going forward, and I really enjoyed this show. I'm not sure, like, I know I, when I was watching WandaVision, I was also really caught up, like, emotionally in that show at the end. But I kind of feel like this might be my favorite now of the Marvel series. I don't know. I'll have to sit and think about it a little bit more. But yeah. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap this up. I want to hear your thoughts. Um, what are your thoughts on the finale? Were you surprised about the scene at the end and the way things wrapped up this episode? And what do you think the future is of this character? Yeah. What do you think the future is of uh, Moon Knight in the MCU? Just want to hear your thoughts. So thank you very much for joining me, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.